Hello everybody, Rebecca here. Today is 8-5-2025 and time is 8.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have an interesting story for you about a hot blob beneath the lab Appalachians formed when Greenland split from North America and it's heading to New York. A hot blob currently beneath the Appalachians may have peeled off from Greenland about 80 million years ago and moved to where it is today at a rate of 12 miles per million years, scientists have found. A giant blob of anomaly hot rock beneath Appalachian Mountains formed when Greenland separated from North America around 80 million years ago, as new research suggests. Now, if we're looking, this is the Appalachian Mountains over here. It runs up through here, which becomes the Blue Ridge Mountains. So this is the Appalachian Mountains here. Scientists previously thought that this hot zone, known as North American, or North Appalachian Anomaly, was left over after the North American plate broke away from Africa 180 million years ago. But this theory does not stand up to new scrutiny, according to the study, published Wednesday, July 30th, in the Journal of Geology. This thermal upwelling has been a long, long puzzling feature of North American geology, according to lead author Thomas Gernon, a professor of earth science at the University of Southampton in the UK. It lies beneath part of the continent that's been tectonically quiet for 180 million years, so the idea that it was just a leftover from when the landmass broke apart never quite stacked up. Instead, new findings indicate that the hot blob which sits 125 miles or 200 kilometers deep and stretches 220 miles or 350 kilometers across New England, appeared around 80 million years ago, when what are now Greenland and Canada were breaking apart. The results suggest that such blobs occasionally form in continent breakups with possible knock-on effects for mountains, volcanoes, and ice sheets. Gernon and colleagues described how hot blob form in study published last year in the journal Nature. Hot blobs are created when materials from Earth's mantle rise up to fill gaps in the crust left by rifting. This material eventually cools and becomes so dense that it sinks or drips, setting off chain reactions in the mantle that the researchers call mantle waves. There may be special conditions required for the mantle waves to form, stated Gernon including a steep temperature gradient where the dripping material enters the mantle. This means that not all continents breakups create mantle waves. For the new study, the researchers use direct geological observations and computer simulations to model plate tectonics and geodynamics. They simulated the initiative of a hot blob 1,120 miles northeast of the Appalachians and found that geologic processes push the blob southwest at a rate of 12 miles every million years. These results were consistent with previous estimates. The team simulation showed that the hot blob may have helped to uplift the Appalachian Mountains when it got there, solving a long-standing question of why the Appalachians remain so high despite major erosion over the past 20 million years. Heat at the base of the continent can weaken and remove part of its dense root, making the continent lighter and more buoyant, like a hot air balloon rising after dropping its ballast. This would have caused the ancient mountains to be further uplifted over the past million years. Hot blobs elsewhere could explain why mountains with a geology similar to the Appalachians are still standing. These blobs could also explain rare volcanic eruptions that bring diamonds to Earth's surface, according to the statement. The study focused mostly on the Northern Appalachians anomaly, but the researchers also examined its twin, a hot blob currently sitting beneath north-central Greenland. That anomaly was born in the same continental breakup event, but on the other side of the rift, according to the statement. The team noted that it creates heat currents beneath Greenland's ice sheet that influence how the ice moves and melts today. Ancient heat anomalies continue to play a key role in shaping the dynamics of the continental ice sheets from below. Even though the surface shows little sign of ongoing tectonics, deep below the consequences of ancient rifting are still playing out. 
the northern Appalachian anomaly is still on the move, and researchers estimate that it will continue on its path to reach New York in 10 million to 15 million years. So if you're worried about a blob coming, you'd have to be around in 15 million years for it to be there. Once the hot blob leaves the Appalachians, Earth's crust there will, there will settle down again. In the absence of further tectonic or mantle-driven uplift, erosion would continue to wear down the mountains, gradually lowering their elevation. Overall, the results reveal that the continent breakups and other major geological events can continue to influence the planet for thousands and even millions of years. The idea that rifting of continents can cause drips and cells of circulating hot rock at depth that spread thousands of kilometers inland make us rethink what we know about the edges of continents both today and in Earth's deep past. So there is a little picture that was shown and I wanted to show you all this. And this shows Greenland here, that's the other blob there, and this is about where the Northern Appalachian blob is located here. And this is Newfoundland here, so right now it looks like it's more up here in this area. And that is really, well this is 80 million years ago, so it shows 80 million years ago, but right now what it is stating is it's underneath the Appalachians, which would be in part of North Carolina. So let me see. Um, they discovered the massive blob of rocks beneath the Appalachian Mountains. And the thermal upwell upwelling has been a long puzzling feature of North American geology. And it was officially dubbed the North Appalachian Anomaly. <coughs> <clears throat> they said that it sits 125 feet deep underground and extends 220 miles across New England. So it's pretty big, you guys. Anyways, just thought I'd give y'all a real quick update on something interesting that I found. I hope you all are doing well. Um, please be safe and take good care of yourselves and each other. Much love.